For quite a while, my global blocks post was among the most popular on Notion VIP, and ever since discovering that little trick, I knew it would eventually become an official Notion feature, and so it did this month with the release of Synced Blocks. So what are synced blocks? Well, blocks are the various types of content you use within your Notion pages, such as text, headings, bullets, toggles, images, databases, and third-party embeds. And so synced blocks are blocks or groups of those blocks that exist in multiple locations. And when you update one instance, all other instances reflect that update. In other words, they're synced. So why is this useful? Well, users often place identical content across numerous pages in their workspaces. And previously, an update to that content required manually updating every page. But with synced blocks, a single update addresses them all, which saves loads of time while keeping your information accurate and consistent. So a few common uses of synced blocks are instructional comments for users, which is my personal favorite, but also custom navigation menus, as well as page footers that appear globally across all pages in your workspace. And these latter two are particularly useful in public-facing websites that are published with tools like Super. So when editing a synced block, you're going to see a red border around all of the blocks that it contains. And at the top, you'll have a few menu options. And among those menu options is going to be the number of pages that contain instances of the synced block. And you can click on that as a drop down menu to see each of those pages. And the original is going to be indicated as such. So you can create a synced block from scratch or from existing content. To create it from scratch, you can create a new block just like any other block by clicking on the plus sign and scrolling all the way down to synced block. Or you can use the shortcut, which is the forward slash, and then search for synced block. And that's going to give you your red border within which you can create blocks just like you would outside of a synced block. So we'll just do a quick demo here. So to create a synced block from existing content, what you can do is highlight the blocks that you want to use within the synced block. And remember to highlight the full blocks, not just their inner content. So drag all the way over the blocks. And then you can click on the six dotted menu and choose turn into synced block. Or with them selected, you can use the command or control key, depending on the type of computer you're using, along with the forward slash. And that's going to bring up the menu that you can search for synced block and then scroll down to that option, hit enter, and there is your synced block. So once your synced block is created, you can click on the copy and sync option at the top, and then go to any other page in your workspace and paste, and that is going to produce another instance of your synced block. So if you edit that new instance or the original, the change is going to be reflected everywhere. Now, if your synced block is going to contain just a single block, you don't have to convert it to a synced block before creating another instance of it. So you can just start with that single block, such as a heading. And if you click on its six dotted menu and choose copy link, you can take it to any other page in your workspace and paste that URL and choose paste and sync. And that's going to create another instance of a synced block. And that original block is going to become the original instance of that synced block. 
And then lastly, I just want to note that in order to see a synced block, the user is going to need access to the page that contains the original version of the synced block. So in order to see this synced block on this inbox page, the user is going to need access to the laboratory page because the laboratory page contains this original instance of the synced block. If the user does not have access to this page, then this instance of the block is not going to be visible to the user and you'll get an error up here at the top if there's a chance that some users may not be able to see the synced block. So in your experimentation with synced blocks, if you hit any roadblocks or have any questions, feel free to tweet at William Nutt.